it's Celine here. Today I am back with my fourth video in my back to school series. This is my school supplies haul of 2014 because we all know school is coming up right around the corner for me. It starts in a few weeks and I know some of you guys already started school which absolutely sucks but I mean school is a part of life that we just gotta live through and study hard and all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna get right into the video and show you guys a backpack that I bought and so this is the Kiplin black backpack and it has two shoulder straps and I really wanted to get a new backpack because I haven't bought an actual backpack with like two shoulder straps. I usually just get like one shoulder bags like the long champ bag I got for my birthday from my best friend Eve. So anyway this is the black Kipling bag. Um, not really much to say it's just a backpack and has two shoulder straps. Um, it has a lot of pockets, which I'm happy about, so I can put my phone in here, I was thinking, and then my school, like, pencil case and whatnot inside the first, um, bag, because it has a little pencil holder, um, pen holder, I guess, phone holder, too, if you want it to, um, make it like that. And then on the top, it also has, like, a mini, um, mini section on top here, if you can see that, and so you could put, like, a pencil or two in there, which I probably will be doing for easy access during class if I'm late or something. And then on the inside... Um, like I said, this is brand new, so I didn't really get to look that much inside of it, but it still has, like, the tissue paper and everything, so it has a nice little folder pocket here for, I guess, my agenda, and then here in the back for heavier books, so that way it won't fall out, so it's great. It's just a black backpack, and plus it goes with any outfit, basically, so I got that. And by the way, besides two notebooks and the backpack that I just showed you guys, everything is from Target's because Target is life, Target's is my love. So I got these three filler papers and they're college rule and they have 175 sheets in and there are three of them. I went kind of crazy on the notebook section because I love notebooks, but each notebook was 50 cents. What? 50 cents for um, 100 sheets, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 100 sheets sheets in this composition book. It's called Tops. I don't know the brand, but whatever. It's just a nice flimsy kind of sturdy notebook. Flimsy, sturdy don't really go together, but you know what? It's like flimsy, but I mean the pages are like secured, so nothing will fall out. So I got one, two, three, four. I got five. Oh, turns out it's not five. It turns out it's six. I also got a green one, so I got one yellow, two green, two purple, one blue, and one red. So six of them, I paid three dollars for these six notebooks, college ruled. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I got a planner. Last year I didn't buy my school's planner because I didn't really realize they were selling them, but I got a new one and I just kind of decided to buy my own planner from like Target. So I got this Med or Mead, again I don't know how to pronounce this company's name, but it looks like this and it is a weekly, monthly planner. I'm reading straight off the label here, if you cannot tell. And so when you open it, it just has like an obscure cover here, but it's kind of see-through so you can see the design, which is of this purple, yellow, flower, gray, brown, taupe-esque design. And so inside is really nice because it has all the months laid out here, so you could just flip to any month that you want. And these, um, like the planner itself is really big, like the lines in between, which is why I got it, because again, I have a lot of homework and study, um, test to study for, so I figured I could write them all down in this big space, and plus Saturday and Sunday, no one really has school Saturday, Sunday, so I figured I, figured I would use, um, like when my tests are on upcoming projects down here, so again, great planner, I'm not sure of the price, I think it was $7.99 or $8.99, again, really good deal. So the two things I got from Amazon are these Matter Mead Wide Ruled 70 Sheets regular notebooks and so just that 70 sheets and it's just random notebooks I might have for home like if I'm just needing extra paper and I don't want to pull out a binder I'll just use these because again you could rip it out straight from the notebook itself. Okay back to the Target haul I then got these two up and up three subject notebook college drooled um, notebooks. So again, three subjects and they have 150 sheets in them, so for now I don't think that's going to be enough, but again I got two, so in case I'm planning on using this for um, probably maybe AP Lang maybe, or AP West. Well, again, I'll see what my teachers have me required, because I know some teachers require certain supplies for certain classes. They're fun colors. I think these were two dollars each, maybe? Something like that. And then I got six folders, and these are the Med Mead. Okay, I'm done with this company's name. I'm just gonna say M, okay? M brand. Um, so I got six of these. Each one was 75 cents, which is pretty good for folders, and this is what the inside looks like. It has a, um, like a block pixeled effect on here, so I thought that was a nice design. And the inside, just a folder. You could put your homework in here or whatever, so 
Um, and also it has like the punches, I didn't take them out yet, but you can put this in your binder, which is why I got it, especially because I like to have at least one or two folders in each binder that I carry. So if I have any sheets of paper that are not punched in by the teacher and are not punched in by me, I'll just put them in the folder and then punch them when I get home. So I got Scotch Removable Mounting Hoodie. I, this is not really for school, mostly for my room, but it was there. I think this was about a dollar or two. Houston, we have a problem. I can't hold the amount of NYX cards I bought. So each one was 50 cents, so I got 1,300 index cards total. So um, I really love index cards, and these are just regular index cards. They're by the brand Up and Up, if that helps you at all, if you want to buy these. Um, 50 cents each, they're amazing because for index cards, for me personally, I love them just because it really does help me learn vocabulary much better. And so um, for the SAT class that I've been taking um, this summer, for both of them, I have been using index cards to memorize the words, and they truly have helped me tremendously. Um, so I needed to buy more, and so I might as well get at least 10-year supply. So I got 1,300 of them. And again, 50 cents each for 100 note cards. Not bad. Again, I'm planning on using index cards for the AP classes I'm taking, so for AP Lang, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to be memorizing more vocab words than on a weekly basis than I did for my last year's honors class, and so we'll see, and if I don't end up using them for that class, I'm sure I will find another way to use them, such as for the SATs. So, 1,300, and this is really ghetto because I realized this when I got home, one of them was already open, so I'm guessing, I'm hoping no one took like one or two, but even if they did, it's not a big deal because whatever. I have 1,200 more for where that came from. And last but not least, pens. I love pens. I have, okay, you guys may not know this about me, but I have so many pens. Like whenever I go to Turkey, there are so many um, pen stores and art stores. So like little shops around the corner nearly in every single place in Turkey that I've been to, at least one in every single like shopping area. So uh, I kind of miss going to Turkey because I haven't gone to Turkey this summer because I stayed for SAT class and soccer and whatnot. So anyways, I had to get regular pens from here, but I got the Papermate Flare um, marker pens. They're felt to pens. There are 16 of them. And I think this was $14 if I'm not mistaken, maybe 12, something around that um, number. So again, Awesome colors. I really do like the feel of these because they are felt tip pens. They feel like a marker, but they're thin enough so you can take notes without it being too bulky and bleeding through the page. So I have used these in the past and I really like them. I just don't know where they went because again, I used them maybe like three or four years ago. So I got that and then I also got some Paper Mates um, purple pens and some blue pens. Again, if you've seen my giveaway, I've also shown these in the giveaway. So got some more. And that is it for my school supplies haul for 2014. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this school year hopefully will not be that bad. Comment down below when you guys go back to school because I'm interested to know when you guys go back or if you've already started, how many weeks in you are. So again, my school ended kind of late. It ended around like June 26th, the 28th or something like that. So it did end pretty late for me. So again, school, again, it's starting earlier than last year, which doesn't make sense to me at all. But you know what? It is what it is. So anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.